Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lowrance product expert. And what I'm gonna to do today is walk you through how to update the software on your Lowrance hook unit. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna to need to do to update your software is we're gonna to go to lowrance.com. Once we get here, we're gonna to go to the support page. We're gonna click right here. And as you can see right here, it brings up the download for the hook software. We're gonna select hook software and we come down to the hook seven because we have a hook seven unit that we're updating. Once we click on that, you can see it's downloading right down here in the bottom corner. It's gonna give us the time. It says it's got about 20 seconds left. Okay, now that it's done downloading, we can see right here in the corner, I'm gonna click on the little drop down arrow and ask it to show it in the folder. I can see it right here. Now it's a zip file, so I'm gonna double click on it. Now it's gonna ask me to unzip the file. I'm gonna highlight what I want it to extract. Select Extract. It's going to ask for a location to put it. I'm going to browse to where I want to put it. I'm going to put it in My Documents. I've created a My Software folder where I typically put my software when I download it. That way I know right where to find it. So right here is the My Software folder. I'm going to extract it right here. Tell it OK. Now that's done. and close out of all of this. Okay, we've closed out of all that. I'm gonna to go to the My Software folder. It's in My Documents. Right down here to My Software. And we can see right here the Hook 7 software. Okay, now that I found it, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my USB memory card reader. I got a micro SD card in it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the USB drive. Gonna to go to a computer. We can see the drive right there. I'm gonna slide it over to the side. Okay, so now that we have our memory card up and our software folder open, I'm gonna grab the hook software, drag it over here, and drop it on my micro SD card. Now I'm gonna look at my micro SD card. As you can see, it's showing the hook software. It's got to be in the root folder of the micro SD card for the unit to pick it up when you go to update the software. Okay, so now that we have the update on our micro SD card, what we're going to do is we're going to reach over here. We're going to shut this unit off. Now that my unit's powered off, I'm going to open the card door and put the micro SD card in the slot. I'm going to close that card door and I'm going to power the unit up. Now that that file is in the root directory, as this boots up, you'll see in a minute, it's going to pop up on the screen that it's installing the new software. As you can see, it says update in progress. Please do not remove the SD card or power off the unit during this process. If you do either of those, you can cause damage to the unit. Okay, as you can see, it says the update is installed and now it asks us to please remove the SD card to finish. So we're going to reach over to our card door, open it, and remove the SD card. When you remove the SD card, that signals the unit to reboot. Now it's going to boot up with the new software installed on it. Okay, as you can see, this unit is rebooted. Now it asks us if we want to enter demo mode. What we want to do is we want to tell it no and press enter. We're going to confirm our language. And then we run our setup wizard again. Now, if I don't touch anything and this unit boots up into demo mode, that's going to erase everything that's on the unit because it thinks it's a brand new unit. But since we told it no and went through the setup procedure, all of our information is saved on our unit, our settings, our waypoints, our routes, and our trails. It's all still there. But if you let it go up into demo mode, you're going to lose that information. Okay, so now that we've updated the unit and gone through the setup wizard, 
we're going to go ahead and press menu twice. We're going to go up to system and we're going to arrow over and we're going to go to about. We're going to select enter. And as you can see, we have version 2.0.7.0.8. So we now have the new software on this unit and it's ready to take to the water.